Okay, hello everyone. I'm Rachel Lowe from Physiopedia and I'm talking today to Naomi O'Reilly who helps us out at Physiopedia building our courses. She's one of our learning architects. Hi Naomi. Hi Rachel, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm excited to be starting this course on managing children with cerebral palsy and I know you've been doing a lot of work pulling all the resources together um, and bringing each week into a sort of um, refined topic for people to work through so maybe you could just could you just um, introduce yourself to everyone let everyone know a little bit about yourself and what you do and then maybe um, just tell us your thoughts on on the course and because um, you've been working through it and you've worked through all the content so what are your thoughts on the course so far? Hi everyone well my background obviously I'm a physiotherapist um and have kind of done a wide range of, of work between hospital, private practice and do a lot of sport. Um, but I've also just recently come back from um, some time in Uganda where we were actually running a cerebral palsy camp for children with, with um, cerebral palsy. So it's been really interesting doing this course because I think a lot of this information in advance for some of the students I was working with would have been very, very helpful. Um, I've been really enjoying putting this course together um, it's a bit of a challenge at times because what we're trying to do is put a course together that has a lot of practical information that really can be used on the ground, even in very low resource settings, um, but also that can be implemented in countries where you have lots of equipment and lots of access to resource. So it's trying to, to bridge that gap between the two. Um, so it does kind of cover both areas. Um, and we do try to give a lot of resources around evidence-based practice as well that you can kind of link into and read through later on as you go through the course or kind of tie in for extra information specific to kind of what you're working on. We try and cover quite a broad range within the course because it's looking at possibly one physiotherapist that may be the only healthcare professional that a, a child and their family are working with. So it really does cover things really that can be outside the scope of a physiotherapist in many countries, but for some low resource settings, it does cover things like, you know, speech and language type issues and occupational type issues that they just don't have access to those therapists as well. So it does try to cover that broad range. I think the biggest thing I would like everyone to really take out of the course is about that real positive environment working with a child with cerebral palsy, um, really engaging the child and the parent in the therapy that you're doing with them, having them and their empowerment be really a key part of what you do in your treatment. If you think of the time as a therapist we spend with the child, which could be an hour, you know, an hour in the space of a month in, in some cases. In some other cases, obviously, we're lucky we get to see them in a more intensive um, time. But still, it's the family that spends the most time with them. So making sure we empower the family to have that positive environment in the home um, and ensuring the kids are enjoying their therapy, um, I think, is really positive. I think we need to get away from the times where the child cries for long periods of time during the therapy. Um, because it just increases things like their tone, makes them a little bit more anxious about therapy, which does have an impact on what we can get out of that child during that time. So I think the more positive and fun we can really make it and engage them, I think that the better for the child and the family in that longer run. I think that's a really nice message and it's a really nice message for everyone to bear in mind right through the course, um, just to think about making sure, so everything that you're learning, taking it into a positive therapeutic environment, I think that's a really nice message to carry through the course, great. And I, I just want to highlight something, that we're speaking to Naomi outside because Naomi lives in rural Ireland um, and believe it or not her internet is appalling, so we're talking to her on her mobile internet and I just want to highlight that because I know a lot of participants Participants. We have participants all over the world from over 150 countries and the internet can be a challenge with these online courses. So I just want to say to you that if you're challenged by your internet, you're not the only one. Um, bear with it, just keep trying, you know, keep bear with your internet. It's a challenge not just for people in rural, you know, Africa, Asia, wherever, it's a challenge for people in rural Europe as well. So we're all a little bit challenged by the internet, but we try and make it work as best we can. So, so Naomi, thanks for talking to us today um, and giving your little overview of the course and a message for the participants. We will see you, you'll be in the discussion forums helping people out, so look out for Naomi um, and um, enjoy week one, everyone. Yeah, enjoy week one.